Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your digital product to Kobo course. All right. Kobo course is a very good platform where you can sell your ebooks, your courses, your templates, and anything that is digital. All right. You can even have memberships. You can have people in your, in your forum that you can be training, okay? You can even do email marketing. But for today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can add your ebook to Kobo course and sell with Kobo course, right? If this is your first time of coming to this channel, I am very excited to have you. I want to I want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Awajima Isioto. And as you know, if you are part of my family already, you know that we always talk about how to do stuff online, how to do things that can help you make money online. All right. So if this is your first time and you've not liked this video, kindly do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to this video and make sure when you subscribe, you turn on the notification bell so that when I put out any other video, you'll be the first to be notified, all right? So this is my dashboard for my Kobo course account. Okay, if you don't have an account here, you can go to the link in the description. I'm going to add a link in the description that will sh show you, you know, give you access to how you can sign up to Kobo course and start using Kobo course to sell your ebooks. The beauty of this is this you need to have different platforms that you can use to sell your ebooks and your digital products so that you're not just selling from one end, you can be selling at different times. And you can even be sleeping while your product is selling. That's the beauty of selling digital products, all right? And that's why I'm showing you Kobo course right now, okay? So what you have to do to add your ebook, first of all, you have to make sure that your ebook is ready, okay? You have to make sure your ebook is ready. So if you don't have an ebook, if you don't know how to create an ebook, I'll also add a link in the description that will show you how to do it okay so all you need to do is to just watch this video and when you're done you go to the link in the description and i'm going to add it or better still i'll just add it on the screen here so you can see all right you just use the link on the screen here and just copy it post it paste it on your browser use it to sign up okay whichever way you want to do it just follow the link okay and you have access to signing up all right so Let's hope, let's believe that you have created your ebook. If you have created your ebook, the next thing to do is to come to courses. Okay, you click on courses and wait for it to load. You click on courses. What you're seeing now, I already have one course. Okay, I already have one course here. So, what you do now is to come here and click on upload ebook or video. Okay, you just click on it, upload ebook or video. You see, make sure you read this warning. It says what well, uploading works by other authors is highly prohibited. Your account will be deleted immediately without warning. Please review our terms and conditions. It is also very important that you go ahead and read the terms and conditions before you proceed. Okay, when you read that, you already know you have an idea of what the terms and conditions are and the things you should not violate. Okay. So after looking at this page, what you need to do is just click, check this, okay? I am the owner of this course, and then you click on proceed, okay? You will see this page after you have proceeded. So the next thing here is to come and add the, you come and add the course image, okay? You come and add the course image. So I have um, already designed course on ebook. So I'm gonna just look for that. So you come here and click on upload course image. All right, upload course image. And then you come to the place and look for it. All right, you come here and look for it. Let me just pick this one. Okay, let me just pick this one. You can see, all right. No, this one doesn't have the price. I need to put the one that has the price. Um, I need to put the one that has the price. Okay. Make sure when you're designing your course, um, your course graphics, you need to make sure that it is carrying, you know, it is carrying all the offers. All right. So I want to take this back because this doesn't have the offer. I'm going to just take it back. 
I want to remove this because I don't like what I'm seeing. I want the one that has, I want the one that has the offer. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it off again. Let me take it off. Uh, let me take it off. Um, okay, let's just leave it for the sake of this um, tutorial. So don't waste time, okay? But make sure you have a call to action here. You know, something that says get it now or buy now or something like that. You're just prompting people to take action, okay? So it's another way for you to sell faster. You're not just putting a picture and then nothing is being said on the picture. Do you get what I'm saying? So you need to make sure that everything you're putting is detailed. So the person is seeing your pictures, is seeing all of the things they are going to be getting from your ebook. It helps you to sell faster. Do you understand? It helps you to push people to take action faster, to make them decide faster, okay? I don't have it here, but if, you, if I'm going to be doing this officially, for myself, you know, I'm going to do that. Okay. So take note of that. Now you come here and say ebook, the title of your book, you add it, mastery course. Okay. Ebook mastery course. I'm going to add it there. Ebook mastery course. And then you come here and put a description of your ebook. All right. You put a description of your ebook. What you're going to say is, uh, let me just look for just a little content that I can put. Let me see. Well, let me just start in this ebook. In this ebook, you are going to learn. You are going to learn. Learn the step. A step guide on how to create and sell your ebook. Okay, you're going to learn how to create and sell. I just want to look for a very good description. Let me see. Um, let me see. Good. I want to pick something that we just add there so we can quickly. Um, just get past that stage. All right. Okay, good. So you just come here, just copy one or two. You just copy all of your, whatever your ebook is all about. You copy it. Okay. Make sure that you add the offers to what they are going to be getting in the ebook. Make sure that you add it to. Can you see? Can you see the way I'm adding this now? Make sure you add it. So you are giving people full details of what they are going to be getting. Now, this, this place, you're supposed to have what? A minimum in your description. You're gonna you're supposed to have a minimum of 250 characters. So if it is less than 250 words, they are going to tell you to rephrase, all right? Okay, so you need to make sure it is more than, the minimum should be 250. That's, if it's least, you should just have 250. Okay, then you can have maximum of any amount of words, but make sure they are punchy. Let people know what they are going to be getting. Can you see the way I broke it down? Mode one, mode two, just like that. And then you come here. If it's your first time, the only option you have is for ebook. Are you getting it? If it's your first time, the only option you have is ebook. So the next thing is that if you want to upload video courses, you know you need to upgrade to a premium. Do you get it now? You come here now and add the category. What category? let's say educational, whatever category that your ebook is about, you put it there, okay? For this, I'm just saying educational. Now, show the number of students taking this course. You need to click this and check it. Do you know why? You're doing this because when other people land on this, your course, on your ebook, they need to see that people are actually taking this course. Do you understand? So if I land on your ebook for the first time and I see 200 saves, it tells me that, wow, people are buying this. I, I think I need to buy this. I need to buy it fast, fast. Do you understand? So you need to click on this, check it. If people are seeing zero, like if people are seeing number of students taking the course as zero, you may not easily get sales. It may take you a while, but once you get one sale, two sales, three sales, it's showing. 
So people are coming to your page. They are saying that, ah, okay, people are buying this course. Well, I can buy the course. Do you understand? That's why you need to check this. I believe you're getting value from this, all right? If you're getting value from this, go to the comment section and say, wow, wow, I'm getting value from this, okay? Go to the comment section and say, I am getting value from this. And make sure you have liked, make sure you have subscribed, okay? Now, the pricing, do you want it to be free? I do not advise that you make it free. But if you want to gather people, if it's your first experience of creating ebooks and you've never sold anything before online, if you've never sold ebook before, you can leave it as free. You can put it here, all right? You can leave it here. But I won't advise you, 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 you put it there, okay? Put this one. I won't advise you leave it as a free course because you want to make money, okay? You want to make money. But if you want to get leads, it's still okay. Okay, but you must make sure that your planning and your strategy is organized. So you don't just give out free books and you're not getting their contacts, you're not getting anything from it. Okay, that's why you should leave this place like this. Now, what is the price for your course? If you're starting out, you can put your course as $1, $2, $3, $5. But if you are using Nigerian Naira, you can say $2,500 for your first ebook. Okay. 2000 is not a bad idea too okay now regular price you can say 5000 now by the time people come and see this course they will be seeing that it is selling for 2000 but the original price is 5000 that has been slashed are you getting this now 5000 that has been slashed okay now you come here and put the value in dollars all right if you want to put the value in dollars i don't know the value of 2000 naira in dollars but put your value based on your your nationality and then the one in dollars okay let's just put um 2000 is um two two dollars okay let's just say two dollars right leave this optional leave it okay if you want to put it you make sure you do your calculation and to to find the equivalent and then if you want to add a discount and expiry timer you can put it too but for the sake of this video we cannot do that so you come here and say create, create course file. Are you seeing? Course has been created successfully. Are you seeing now? Course has been created successfully. So what you are going to do now, what you are going to do now is to come here and upload. You can click to select the file. Okay, you can click to select the file. Now, one thing is that you should make sure that your file is really, you know, really good enough, okay? Because your work is going to be reviewed before it is totally accepted. It's going to be reviewed. They are, the, 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 the Kobo course team, they are going to check your course. They don't just want you to put any rubbish out there and expect that people should come and be buying. Do you understand? So you will click here. Once you click here, you will select the file from your computer, all right? Let's click it and see. You will select the file from your computer. So once you have been able to um, upload your work and it has been approved, you are going to see your course live. Your course will be live on the platform and people can now view your course and buy your course, all right? This is how you can upload your video course and your eBooks on Kobo course, all right? If you got value from this video, make sure that you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that when I put out more videos, you will be the first to be notified. Another thing you need to look at is to go, if you have questions for me, all right? If you have questions for me, go to the comment section and drop your questions there. If you also have videos that you want me to make, okay? Whatever challenge that you have with doing stuff online, Go to the comment section and drop it there and i'm going to respond to you as soon as possible okay one last thing is you have to if you if you want to sign up to um kobo course just go to the link in the description i've dropped link to all the resources that you are going to need okay that's all i can take for this video i'm going to see you in another video enjoy